The years 68, 69 were unusually turbulent for the Roman Empire. During this time, taking advantage of the confusion in the order of succession, four rulers were replaced. In this Game of Thrones, each of them had one decisive argument, the army. One after another whistled over the imperial Olympus Galba, Othon, and Vitellius. Vespasian stayed a little longer. The mess was made by the troops in Spain under Galba. He spoke out against the then ruling Nero, who delivered the Senate with its highest slackness. It is indicative that the Demarche almost simultaneously supported the legions stationed in Germany, Spain, Africa, and the East, even the Praetorians in Rome. The troops proclaimed their commanders emperors, counting on a generous reward. With a cry of, All is lost! Nero went on the run, and in some abandoned villa, the accompanying slave rendered the last favor, cut his throat. In Rome and the provinces recognized the power of Servius Sulpicius Galba, who was already a venerable old man. He would have calmed down, but the thirst for domination clouded his brains. For six months of his reign, his popularity, if there was any, steadily tended to zero. He did absolutely everything wrong, awarded unworthy, punished distinguished, did not thank the legionaries who supported him and showed just outrageous avarice. At the feasts, served only vegetables, and all presented earlier Nero took away. At the same time, very reverently treated the display of honors to his person. If the attention given to Servius Sulpicius seemed insufficient, he punished entire cities, robbing and killing the inhabitants, and once ordered the slaughter of several thousand sailors of the navy just because they wanted to become legionaries. Thus Galba turned everyone against him, and his overthrow was a matter of a short time. Finally abandoned by everyone, he was stabbed to death in the Forum by soldiers of the 16th Legion. It was the first emperor killed by ordinary legionaries. The murder, as in the theater, watched the crowd of citizens gathered nearby. Only one man, Centurion Sempronius Dens, with a sword in his hand, tried to protect no longer the ruler, but an infirm old man. Soldiers cut off the corpse's head and, putting it on a spear, carried around Rome, singing victory songs just as they were his and extolled. The role and rule of Galba historians assess differently, but all agree on one thing. A precedent was set. The people and the army realized that the emperor can become not only in Rome. Now almost every legion wanted their commander to stand at the head of the state, and the common people responded by nominating their candidates. There was a string of false Nero.